name is Taras Kataliwa Katabs Organic Farm Enterprises here in Namibia at uh, in Njeru, Njeru municipality. So we are going to talk about biogas from big dung. We collect dung every day, every morning and every evening to feed in our biogas digester. We stopped spending money on anything to do with the cooking, do with the fire. We only use pig dung, which means a pig defecates what? Money. Defecates gas. Look at it and then you admire it as we go on. In our farm we have a spade and a broom and a bucket. That's what you need. All these things can be acquired at a cheaper cost. You can use a broom from made from sticks, you can use a, a, a spade made of anything, as long as it's what you can afford, you use it. So we collect the dung using the broom. as long as there is down the down for the piglets So, don't worry saying I don't have many pigs, what? Just need half a bucket of this sort if I collect enough down for your biogas. forests, burning trees, using electricity, forgetting about this golden, golden material. Uh, we are done, so people talk about going to the gym, what? Can you see how I'm sweating? Don't need to have a gym. Keeping health is uh, my time to eat well, exercise, work and pray. Biogas digester. We we decided to make this tap, to put this pipe on the tap. So that we don't we don't mix from the tap because it would make because some infections. So we bring our, our pipe up to here. We put in water. Because the distance from the water is not near the, the, the tap. So at least we know the infections are reduced to fill this digester. So if, because we don't fill it, the next day you have no gas. You have to use the hands so that we remove the bad had had particles so we mix properly we ensure this mixed properly because if we don't mix properly there will be blockage where, where we pour here if it's not very nicely mixed and it is not liquid form it will break the channel 
Because this one, when we put in here, it should be able to move smoothly to the outlet. We are going to mix this one, this half bucket of dung, with another half bucket of water, which means to the to the brim, fill the brim. Eh? So we are going to fill it to the top so that we pour in. And after pouring in, the ones which have been inside will move that side, the outlet. Then for us, our our new one will make a gas for using it tomorrow, tonight. After proper mixing, when you finish mixing this down with water and it is completely watery, you pour it in the digester. You pour slowly. Think of what the bottom is not nice because it may cause the breakage. So that one we pour it in here. We we'll pour it in the garden or oh, at where we normally pack our leftovers. So this is the gas. Once it is full, you it should, it should always be locked like this. So once it is full, you open it from here. And it goes. Let me first show you how it moves, then we'll go to the cooking side. The gas is digested in here, fermented. Once the pig dung is, dig is digested and fermented properly, it gets out from here. It's the outlet. So for us, we collect every out, everything that came out from here and pour it that side. Then, after we've covered, after we've, after we've removed everything from here, we wait for others to fill again. Let's go to where we are cooking so that we show you how the gas works. Yeah, we, because we are at the farm, we have to eat organically, so we have the eggs, it, let's see how this biogas works properly using an egg. Well, it cooks beans, cooks maize, cooks everything, so I won't boil an egg to fry an egg. Let me first cut this garlic. I, I, only, I love garlic, I love garlic more than an onion, so if you visit me, expect the garlic. So, garlic you know, is good for our health, it's good for... Our it cleanses the body, it cleanses the, the nerves, especially younger men, old men, you know what it means if you have nerves open. So, I'm going to make an egg, fly it off quickly. This is the blender for the villages. If you don't have no, if you have no blender, just have to blend your things like this in a motor. And you're done. Everybody does the way they make the egg, but for my first fly, the onion or garlic, depends on what you want to do. 
But for me, I did that. I don't know how you do it. But I think this one is better for me. So if I visit you, remember. Uh, from the digester, the gas comes to the house, the kitchen. Now, this pipe brings gas from the digester outside as we saw. So you turn on here. For turning on here, you also turn on here so that you light. I light with my lighter. Wow! That's gas! Big dang lighting, straight! You can reduce it, you can increase it to what you want, to a blue flame. So let me put on my I'm gonna put my egg, that's my little onion, I don't love it so much, like I don't like too much onion in the food, and this is my little garlic and onion, adding some oil, some little oil so that you also avoid the cholesterol, you better use this, if, if you love Rolex, you can understand what I'm doing now. Okay. So, our, you know when you're frying an egg, this gas is so hot. So hot to reduce the gas a little bit. And we pour in our egg. Wow. You can imagine. You pick down the cooking. Oh my God. Ah. Just in a short time, I will be eating my egg. It's short time. I'll be eating my egg in a minute. So you can imagine you are somebody who is employed, you want to go, your boss is waiting for you. You fly an egg so fast and you go. You must get this cow down, this pig down too, and then you get the egg done by the gas out of heat. Uh -huh. Egg being yellow, how what do you do with our eggs? What do you do with our eggs so that we produce these yellow yolk eggs? Just watch out for the next video. Wow! 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 If you're happy and clear about what I've done, put up your arm. Put my eggs ready. Very ready. You see? Good to go. And the types of Enterprise enterprises, we make things easy, we make it happen. From the hen you eat, from the pig you cook. Bravo, see you next time. Bye.